Good day, folks, and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joanne, and if you're watching this video, it's because you're interested to know more about Cisco Meraki technology and Cisco Meraki portfolio. But this video and this channel is for you. Here you can find in the link below a portal where you have the Cisco Meraki exam blueprint, and you're going to have a lot of videos in each one of these elements to give to you to know more about the Cisco Meraki technology and infrastructure. So if you want interest into that, and you have to know more tools, you have to know more about that specific technology system right portfolio, that place is the best one and this one will be below. And I hope they enjoy this video and see you in the next one. Now let's talk about the different auto VPN topologies. Mainly you have two different fundamental topologies that you can use in auto VPN or probably in any other VPN technology, but we're gonna talk about this one. So it's the hub spoke topology and the full mesh topology. Let's talk about the first one, the hub spoke topology. So what, what is it about this one? So the interesting is this. So we can say that this is the hedge quarter, hedge quarter. Let's say that you have the data centers over there. So everything has to be communicated through the data center. So you have branch one, branch two, branch three, four, and five. And then all these branches are creating a VPN tunnel to the headquarters. So A wants to talk to all the data center application that you have there, or database, and then B the same thing, C and D. So that's the main approach. It means that all spokes or any branches that you have creates a direct tunnel to the MX security appliance in data center or in the headquarters at this moment. So that's the hub spoke. You have a hub and all the spokes are connected to that data center and that hub. So we can call this a hub and all the branches, we can call it a spoke. The contrary, the full mesh, we can have the same situation here. So this is your headquarters that is here. And you have branch A, the same. You have branch B, the same branch C, branch D, and branch E. Um, yes, you have that each branch has a VPN tunnel to the headquarters as well. But the mesh comes is because branch A creates a VPN tunnel to headquarters, but creates a VPN tunnel to E as well, and creates a VPN tunnel to B. So they have direct VPN communication between the two. And B does the same thing, creates a VPN tunnel to C and creates a VPN tunnel to D, creates a VPN tunnel to E. So you know, you start seeing how complicated this can be because A as well creates a VPN tunnel to C and creates a VPN tunnel to D. The same situation with D, creates a VPN tunnel with all of them. This one can be covered the same as this one. But if you start trying to draw it, it becomes every time, every time, a little bit of a mash <laughs> in some way. But it means that you have way more VPN tunnels than the hub spoke situation. And that's something that you obtain in consideration. So what other consideration is there? Is that, for example, if you want to send traffic in the hub spoke to from A to B, it means that I have to send traffic to headquarters and headquarters then will send it to B. And the reply is gonna go to headquarters and headquarters is gonna send it back to A. Same situation from E to D, then I'm gonna have to send traffic to headquarters, headquarters will send it to D, send traffic to headquarters, headquarters send it back to E. That's not happening in the full mesh. If I say from branch A to E, and I want to send traffic, the branch A knows that it has a VPN tunnel to E, it's gonna send it directly and the other one is going to send the traffic back. So you don't have to go through headquarters if your destination is in branch A. So we're going to say later on what are the, the characteristics of that and what are the drawbacks and having hub spoke or full mesh.